My next guest is an American Muslim doctor. She says Congresswoman Omar is an embarrassment and a disgrace to the Muslim community. Join me now is Dr. Kanta Ahmed, a member of the Council on Foreign Relations and a counselor at the USC Shoah Foundation. Doctor, you also say that Omar is not the victim she portrays herself to be. Great to have you on. Why is that? It, it, it's just diabolical that she commits yet another violence against the families of survivors of 9-11 and the families of victims of 9-11. Foremost, I'm a physician who takes care of people that have survived or had diseases complicated by the World Trade Center attacks. That was devastating remarks that I actually heard while I was in Africa, in Rwanda, commemorating a genocide there. She is depicting in this diminishment what I would describe as an, a profound denial of 9-11. And as you know, I work a lot with anti-Semitism, and it reminds me of the mentality of Holocaust deniers, or, as we've seen in Rwanda, there are some who would deny the genocide there, too. So this denial raises in me a couple of questions. Does she really think 9-11 was not an Islamist, jihadist attack, which came from within the Muslim fold? The Quran tells us, Islam tells us, we must be strict in observing justice, even if it means, means bearing witness against ourselves, against our kith and our kin. And it also tells us we have to do that with impartiality. We cannot be biased if we have certain prejudices. She harbors prejudices. She diminished the worst attack on this country since Pearl Harbor. And she does an assault on my patients and all families who are grieving for their survivors. It's despicable. Worse is that opponents, whether in her party or not, are shielding her from the yeah. kind of searing criticism she deserves. Well, Dr. Ahmed, uh, we're going to have an entire hour on just this conversation of Islam in the world today, especially its role in America. And this conversation should focus on the facts. You just laid out a whole bunch of them. We really appreciate uh, your being with us tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you, and, Laura. And uh, if I can just say, this observation of denying 9-11 was made to me when we discussed this yeah. in Rwanda with Muslims, with African Got Muslims. It. We're going to keep this conversation going, but we appreciate your joining us. 